Good evening, everyone, and welcome to the Inner City Long Form Improv Jam. We're starting a little late this evening, but we still got a fun night of improv ahead of you. Uh, yay. So let me share my screen here. We are going to go over some of the rules and blah, 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 blah. information about the jam. As soon as I can click on the right window, that is not the right window. Um, Whoa, that desktop six. That's the right window. Inner City Long Form Improv Jam. That's where you are. Our jam format, when people came in, they were assigned to randomly generated, well, randomly assigned teams, not randomly generated teams. That would be uh, even weirder. Um, Everyone, the the two teams are are musical, non musical improv. We're going to have tonight uh, two non musical, one musical improv team. Uh, And the format we play are montage. Tonight, we're actually going to be doing uh, 20-minute sets because we only have three teams, but their overall jam time is still going to be two hours. When you're in a scene, uh, the way you can switch between uh, scenes is with a sweep edit or a tag out. Uh, The way we do sweeps here are to say sweep very loudly and do a sweeping motion with our hands. Uh, So let's everyone come on screen real quick here, and let's all try that together. Sweet. 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 I'm Don Barno. You see your teammates doing this. You know it's time to turn your camera off and let someone else start a scene. Uh, you can also do a, a tag out where you say tag out uh, either actor name or character name. That character drops out. You come on. The other the person who's in scene with them will still be in the, in the scene, but you're now in a different location or different thing with the same character, but your person joining is new. At the two minute warning, whoever is timing that scene will put up their, their come on camera to show you their clock to show you have two minutes left. That's just an la- indication that uh, you're going into the last scene. So either try to wrap things up. Uh, if you're a musical, this is going to be your last song. So everyone should get on and, and join the final song. Uh, and then uh, once the, you know, you've hit that mark, the, the timer will call the, the uh, blackout. When you're in the audience or on the back line, please mute your audio. Uh, if you're in the scene with, if you're, if you're not on camera, but you're in the group that's playing, you can leave your audio on so we can hear some laughs. But otherwise, please leave your, your audio and camera off. Note that uh, you may get muted if it turns on. Please don't take it personally. We're just trying to make it easier for everyone to hear what's going on. Uh, you can click hide non-video participants, although at your... 19 months of zoom i'm pretty sure if you don't know what that is by now uh welcome to the to 2021 uh this is what the gallery view looks like with hiding non-video participants and i guess we don't have a slide for if it does you'd see a bunch of black boxes of people's names we are streaming on facebook so if you don't want to be streamed um please you know drop off now but uh hopefully everyone got the little message saying we're streaming and click got it so we should be good we do have some sensitive topics. Uh, political COVID-19. We hear a lot of that stuff all the time. We don't really need it in the jam. Religion and spirituality, blue humor, stalking, socioeconomic disadvantage, cursing. These are sensitive. They're not banned, but we just encourage you to stay away from these because, you know, they're just, we'll make this a, a welcoming place to everyone. We do have some banned topics. No flashing each other, no jokes about rape or kidnapping, miscarriage, suicide, uh, racism, sexism, any other isms mental illness, or anything that ba- makes someone's identity the butt of the joke. We want to make a safe space for all of our improvisers, so this is not an exhausted list, but please uh, don't use these in our jam. Uh, if you do see something that you think violates our guidelines or makes you uncomfortable or just in general, you can uh, call a timeout. If you see something, uh, just turn your camera, say timeout, and violates jam guidelines. At the scene, we'll go on the next one. Um, if you don't feel comfortable doing that you can reach out to any one of the people who have co-hosts in their in their name those are the volunteers uh and we will take care of it for you just however you do just make sure you let us know uh when you're improvising in zoom just try to have one person speaking at a time treat everyone with respect don't be rude use your actual face if you want to use a puppet that's fine but make sure it's just next to your face we want to see you as well uh, when you're doing music, don't worry about the lag too much. Our MD Faustino is a Zoom veteran at this point. He will be there to support you and uh, we'll do whatever we need to do to make it work. 
Uh, and when the timer is warning is called, if you haven't been on scene very much, get on up there because it's going to be the last scene. And just have fun. We want to make this uh, an enjoyable time. This is our 82nd week, so it's uh, woo! all having fun. Uh, at the end, we will have a group game. We'll announce who the feature troop is for next week. Uh, some feedback, some networking, light mingling, and ask people to spread the word. Tonight, I- I'm thrilled that our, our headliners are four first names. Richard Paul and Chris Berry from uh, Central Florida. They are both here on one camera tonight, so it's going to be an exciting time because we're not quite sure how it's going to work with musical. But we'll find out. It should be fun. And that's it. Oop, uh, that was last week's headliner. So if you if you weren't there, you can go watch it on Facebook. But uh, to get us started here, we're going to go jump in right now to Team 1. And for Team 1, let's have uh, Michael Strauss come out and introduce the team. Hi, thanks, Brian. All right, as I call your name, go ahead and turn on your camera and microphone. We got Jan from Manila, Philippines. John Robertson from Corpus Christi, Texas. David Shapiro from Chicago, Illinois. Karen Tardiff from Texas. And timing all y'all, we've got Alex Lee. That's your team one. Go ahead, get a suggestion and take it away. All right, well, we're team one. Um, Can we just get a suggestion? Kombucha. Kombucha, thank you. Thank you, Kombucha. Kombucha. Last second lineup change. Team one also has Faustino and Chris Barry. What? What? uh... Yay! Yay! And we're still going with Kombucha. Um, I have a story about kombucha. Really? Yeah. Another it one? It's, it's the like, reason why I go through backpacks every other week. That's like your third kombucha story today. <laughs> I, didn't even, I didn't even start the story yet. I just preface it by like, I did like a reason, a rationale for why I'm about to tell the story. And then now I'm going to get into the story. You haven't heard it. Why are you assuming it's going to like, it's the third story? Because I heard the first two. Well, you know, the first two are the reasons why, A, uh, we first met, and two, why we're now been married for five years. So I'm sorry kombucha's ruined our relationship. You know, I was fine when we opened the kombucha shop, but there are other things in life. I mean, we used to hike. Do you want to? I mean, we could hike sometime. Yeah, but we can't, you cannot hike anymore without some kind of kombucha in your pocket or your backpack, which was just what was the story to be about, by the way. Mm. I'm sure it was a kombucha story. Yeah. Karen, I mean, do you understand? When, we were, when we were dating, you used to tell me granola stories. Those were interesting. Let's cut to the their hike at the top of the mountain. Welcome to the top of the mountain. Welcome to my kombucha stand. So, um, um, you guys want kombucha? Ninety-five dollars. Uh, can you put some ginger in that? Absolutely. That's another extra fifteen dollars. I'm the only kombucha stand around here, so this is a scam. You're, you're scamming us. There's, can he just pay the man? The, do you see the line that you saw? You waited twenty minutes in line for this. I, mean, I did wait 20 lines because I thought this would be not a scam, but this is clearly a scam. Honey, I, I, you know what? If you could find another kombucha. Oh, my God. It's hey, kombucha, guys. Exactly. Here, you want your regular? You want your regular? Just yeah, put, yeah, put $300 yeah, yeah. on your credit sir, card. Sir, right? sir, 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 sir. Do not grab the kombucha. Does he have his kombucha selling card? No, because... But look, he's so hot. Look at those abs. Oh my god. <laughs> have you heard of have you heard of a website called OnlyFans? Yeah, that's where I found him. And you don't like you don't I need didn't... to buy kombucha to facilitate yourself on this man here. I do agree what? he is very hot. I'm so sorry. Sir, I'm sorry you feel hot. that way. And ma'am, I'll take the price from when we were like 110. I'll take it down to 105. Honey, please come on. Oh, worth it. Just 
Pull, pull out your black card and give it to him, okay? My um, black card? I can just what, give him, like, what, cash? You hiked up all this way. <laughs> but we get points charge, on the black Charge, card. charge, charge, charge. Yeah, go, I go, got a cube. Charge, I can charge, charge, charge. Fine, take it fine. In. Take it, take it, take it. Take it in. Take this is dumb. Yeah. This is against my morals. This is my morals. I'll see you at the bottom of the hill. We'll have your kombucha in about, it, since it's uh, artisan, it'll take about 25 minutes, okay? Been, okay, okay. Honey, honey, honey. No, no, you, get, you got to wait 15 minutes for two balls of kombucha. <laughs> Mom? Mom? Yeah, baby. What's in what's in this drink? Like my my classmates always ask me, like, why am I drinking this? Like, because it's with, fermented. It's good for you. It's good. <laughs> it tastes. But, it tastes bad. But it's good for you. You know that is the only thing that's going to keep you from not getting sick at school this year. I know, but I, I puke during my math exam. Oh, baby, that has nothing to do with the drink. It has everything to do with you not liking math. Is that it? Okay, okay. Okay, but like, what's in this? It's fermented. You say it's fermented. That's all, that's all that matters is it's fermented. And if it stays out there any longer, you're not going to be able to take it to school because it's not going to be a school-friendly drink. And then you're going to throw up for other reasons during your math test. Uh, tag out, Dawn. <laughs> well, son, as your math teacher, I want to say uh, I'm really happy that your your grades have been going up. You've been doing well. You've been doing well in your homework. Um. I'm a little concerned about your skin color and the fact yeah. that you appear to be throwing up like most days, like both before and then after class and usually one stirring. Uh, tag out, David. Um, I noticed that um, when we're filing your taxes, like half the color, half the one side of the paper is yeah. yellow and the other one, your skin color is fine. It's just that the yeah. paper is now hard to read. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's, it's just like, it's so confusing, like how to, like the taxes, the percent. Just, I don't know if all the receipts and, and then I just remember my mother. It's one, you had one I, job, man. Just keep the, the paper the same color. Yeah, yeah, just... Faustino. <laughs> See, so this is going to be a skill that's going to be important for the rest of your life. Taxes. <laughs> Can't I just be a billionaire and not pay taxes? Oh, well, maybe if not, you drink yeah. your kombucha, you will maybe or what if i what if i sell the kombucha and then i become rich is that i mean i guess that could work you can get a nice little place on top of a mountain or something i got dawn <laughs> well sir as your business manager your sale of kombucha is ah uh, yes uh, uber uber billionaire um yeah, unfortunately yeah, yeah, yeah. the children of the world who drink your kombucha <laughs> now have a type of sickness that no one could, <laughs> no one could, they don't know what it is. It's no, like, but it, it's like, it, it, it's sustainable, right? That's the word, no, sustainable. You know, the, the virus right? is our business is sustainable. The virus is sustainable, sustainable. yes, but the, the, the children, unfortunately, are yeah, not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes. As the, long the, as we don't say what's fermented, we oops. never say what exactly is fermented. Well, you were good right. in getting that in, in in lobbying the government to get that word taken out. It's uh, tag fermented. Out, tag out, David. Whoa, whoa. Uh, wait, hold on. I, I'm hearing some disturbance in the force. It's fermented. Ah, uh, yes. Um, just so you know um, about that, uh, uh, we, we can't call things the virus anymore due to uh, sensitivities in the current market. So you have to oh, refer okay. them as Sorry. wee beasties. Yeah. Just, we beasties. Oh, we beasties. We yeah, unfortunately, a white guy oh, came up with that term, right. but that's a little bit more family friendly. We beasties. <laughs> it, it's, it sounds like a little pet you can 
whisper, you know, you can just like. Uh, yeah, just, just yeah, don't mention like cats. Just don't mention cats, though. Yeah. Okay. Okay. You can call so, the wee beast who's fermented because that doesn't really mean anything. It's safe. No one's going to sue us for that. Okay, okay, okay. Fermented what beasties. If, <laughs> nope. what, what if we just say, for, can I be just honest? It's fermented cats? No. I'll, you're pushing the line. You can only say we oh. ferment, fermented wee beasties or we fermented beasties. Click. Okay. Okay. It's not working. Why is it not saying it? All you need to know is that it's fermented. But mom, you've been saying that to me for 20 years. And it got you through all of your classes, all of your schooling, and you never got sick because it's fermented. It's fermented. It's ferment. The wee beast is inside of me. I've been keeping me safe for all these years, and I have you to thank for it. Hang out, Dawn. Well, son, I have something to admit. When before you were born, I made my own beer. I was a great microbrewery, and one day, as I was making some wort, it uh, the yeasts suddenly got, grew out of control, and it grew into you, son. Are you saying that you're, I my, made... you're my yeast? You're my yeast son. I'm, I'm your I'm your yeast son. You're you're He's made, fermented. You're, made entirely, you're fermented. Hi. You. This this is this is this is your brother Barley Boy. He's made out of barley. Uh, so we got my yeast yeah. boy and my barley boy. Oh no! I've been infected with a virus. Oh, oh no. Uh, I've been infected. Oh, yeast boy, what's wrong? I've been infected. Oh, barley boy, now it's just you and me. Have you met? Have you met yeah. my daughter, Hops? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. She's she's yeah. She's a good time. She's yeah. a bit bitter though. She's a bit bitter. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I'm Hops. Hi. It's funny nice you're both enjoy. my children, yet you've never met. Yeah. <laughs> So, like, our dad, like, brother, sister. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm going to let you two, you. Uh, I'm going to go uh, see if I can make, get a, get a, grow some fungus over there and maybe make a new child for myself. I'll be back. Hi. I heard Hi. Daddy. Yeah. Daddy looks like Captain Crunch, doesn't he? Is he Captain he Crunch? Does. He kind of does. That's so funny. I always wanted a brother. I never had anybody to pick on me growing up. So I'm like, have this inflated ego. Maybe you can take me down oh. a notch. I heard that's really fun. <laughs> well, like, I think I heard. Give me a noogie I or guess... something. So <laughs> I think it's, I think. You just get a bit wasted too much, Pops. I think I heard that you have a DUI. Is that right? Like you... Oh my gosh, I feel like I did a notch. This is awesome. Totally, I totally have a DUI, but it was okay. The cop let me ride in the front. Oh, wow. <laughs> I'm so proud. You're a wild child. But then I am. You... Like you need to teach me how to party, party. <laughs> like how, how can okay, we party? Well first, here, have some kombucha. It's fermented. Oh. Wee beasties. <laughs> now take a big drink. We cut to three hours later. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> oh my god well i'm uh, sorry Ma ma'am sir the ride is over you need to get out of my car <laughs> oh but, I, but like you, you haven't cuffed us yet we're still i'm, 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 your, I'm not a police i'm your you uber driver <laughs> Oh, Let's honk the horn again. 
honk the horn again. Yeah, I'm not playing honk my horn Three again. Three stars. No, Three stars. You have a cough. Get out yet. of my car. Oh, God. Three stars. You're <laughs> not cuffing the mess yet. Listen, listen. You you hey, asked me to take you to hey. to, to five 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 way chili. I took you to the chili place. One of you threw up. Luckily, you threw up out of the car. I didn't mind, but now I took you to the strip club. So get out. You're here at the strip club. That's that's the end of the ride. Okay. <laughs> okay. Give me a hey. mint, please. A mint. You have hey. mint. What? Hey. Hey. Yes. They show their boobies in there. <laughs> yeah, and hey. Yeah. They Actually, show they... their ass. That, that, that's, what, that's, what, that's what you're going to pay for. Good luck, guys. Good luck. Door's right hey, over there. There's someone's daughter. There's someone's daughter. Mm -hmm. Oh, my God. It's so mm -hmm. scandalous. Mm -hmm. Hey, hey, hey. I'm, I'm, I'm someone's daughter. Yeah. And I have two daughters at home. Neither of them are at that place. Don't, don't worry. Just wait, go and have fun. But we cut to two hours later. Hey, everybody. Welcome to uh, the on-street spelling test. Uh, you win $1,000 and you can spell these letters or these words into letters. Uh, we have somebody here who's cheating with their phone. So get off the street, ma'am. Can't use your phone on a spelling test. No hey, don't, don't throw that at me. No <laughs> phones. No phones. Oh. All right. You're, you're going to. No, no. Uh, your person has left. You're here by yourself taking the spelling oh. test. Bro, 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 bro. Um, hey, hey. Uh, sir, ma'am, walking down the street. Can I stop you for a second? Uh, can you make this person spell a word for. No, you. Oh, come on. All right. Give her a word to spell for a thousand dollars. Um. Um. Uh, uh. Let's see. Um. Um. Well, this is a test for me too. Oh my goodness. I got give her a word to spell. I'll give you a koozie. Um. Uh, uh, koozie. Jacuzzi. 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 All right. Here's a koozie for. Sign jacuzzi. All right. Get out of here. Spell jacuzzi for a thousand dollars. J C U Z Z I. Woo! What is that? <laughs> no, no, yeah, yeah. Sir, can you spell jacuzzi for a thousand dollars? You guys giving out medical assistance checks over here. You guys doing medical stuff today? Um, if you give me a word to spell, I'll give you a koozie. <laughs> you spell assistance. Assistance. All right, here, take us koozie. Oh, I'll get out of here. Where's the soup kitchen at? Just uh, <laughs> hello, welcome to um hello, welcome to St. Robert Smith of the Cures uh soup kitchen. How may I help thank you? you? Thank you, thank you, thank, thank, thank you guys. Uh you guys got spaghetti today? Um we do, but you you're supposed to bring a bowl. All I see is you have is a koozie. In your hands. This koozie has got a hole in the bottom. Oh I'm no! No, no, we we have four gra, four gra, four gra. Four you gra can, you There's still no can't put four gra on a koozie. Hey, you put your bacon four gra for in, in the soup kitchen. You know, we we take anything. You uneducated people. You uneducated. Uh, I'm not comfortable with this. Uh, uh, sweet, 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 I was, sweet, sweet. I was, I was, I was sweet. at a doctorate once. So, honey, honey, look, you have got to get on the kombucha train. Those those soft drinks are not those like sports drinks are they're no good for you. No oh, good. But, oh, see, the thing is, I like to know what I put on my body in my body, too. And this has all the ingredients listed. Yeah, but kombucha is fermented. 
It is fermented. Yes, I, I hear that it's fermented and that eats all the sugars. And so it's not really full of sugar, even though the ingredients sometimes say it's full of sugar. But see, this is not full of sugar. But it's the worst that it has in here is some dye. But that's for sports. And you and me both know we are not into sports. You're being racist against sport people. I can't help it. I mean, good for them. Yay, sports. But I mean, I'd rather just sit around and talk about macrame. <laughs> ta 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 tag, out, tag out Karen. So I got to tell you, you're, I was playing outfield last, last week for the, for the Dodgers. Mm -hmm. And uh, your son was saying, I know I'm the away team, but he was saying some really mean stuff to me. Well, that's because they wanted a catcher, not a broken ladder. And you know, <laughs> they, they were saying that, and that it's personally hurtful to me. Well, don't be personally a broken hurtful ladder. To me. Don't be well, a broken ladder, and he well, won't yell that to you. Well, I wanted a pitcher, not a belly itcher, but I didn't get one. Now did I? Well, that's outfielder. something you need to take up to your coach. Really? Yeah. Really? Really. What, what, about, what about the no matter what they're saying, no batter? I mean, I'm, at, I'm, I'm getting up there ready to swing and everyone's saying no batter. It's like, yeah, I'm the batter. Don't tell me and, not, I'm not the batter. And, and then the other half is saying, hey, batter, 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 batter. That's exactly, exactly. So who are you going to listen to? The no batter or the batters? Well, I... One one final thing, the 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 you got the organist, and they're saying da -da 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 -da, and everyone says charge. charge. Says, Come yes, on. I love that. I love Come that. on, they're always doing. I'm getting up to bat. It's it's not fair. Well, well, see the thing is, you got to be a better batter. Not, I mean, not maybe you need some more training batter. camp. What, what was that, sweetie? What was that? And I not be that. a broken ladder is what you're saying. Right. right. To not be a broken ladder, to not be a belly itcher. Yeah. Um, and, you know, like mom, like you, mom said, like, if you're a batter, you can't be a nagger. You yeah. can't be a nagger. And that's exactly. all you do is nag, nag, nag. Uh, tag out, tag out, Don and David. Hey, I know you're, I know you're trying to do bits and stuff. Um, uh, we we call we call people who are complaining a lot uh, complainists, um, just oh, for the sake of oh. just not wanting to get sued for specific things being said. Uh, so complainists oh, or like um, I don't know like uh, rabble flappers. Oh. <laughs> are rabble rousers? Are you calling me a rabble rouser? I mean rabble, rabble rousers aren't going to get us sued. I mean if you, you start calling people um, other thing, yeah no we. we, we you can um as long as you're punching up, you can say whatever you want. Just don't. Um, I'm gonna leave you to. Can we call him a muckraker? Um, is that acceptable? Muckrakers. I feel like that's some kind of civil war term. So I'm we'll, let's stay away from that. <laughs> what about a cootie catcher? Like, am oh. I a cootie? Is he? A, is he a cootie catcher? He looks like a cootie catcher. Cootie catcher? I, cootie I suppose. That's okay. Like. Yeah, because like the beard catches a lot of cooties, I think. <laughs> and always, it always does. You're right. Yeah. yeah. The great, right there, right there. You know what? Lucky for you, we have yeah. a bunch of these people just Ooh. waiting outside to field test. Uh, if you want to use a cootie catcher, fine by me. All right, test subjects, get in here. It's a, it's a fop noodle. Look at the fop noodles. It's Wait, whoa, whoa. Right you here. can't say. Oh. I got another one. Here. Can I call you a, like a kombucha? Can I call you kombucha? If you're like. Look, I'm thirsty here. I need something to drink that's fermented. Yeah, because like. Look, it's, it's in... a loiterer. Somebody's loitering. Look at the loiterers. You, yeah. you said you were going to pay me for asking about. Fine, here, about here's a, a kombucha. Here. Fine, like... take it. Get out of here. In Filipino like scene. <laughs> These cooties are tasty. Jeez. Thank you, Team One.
Ooh, everyone, come on and give them applause. All right. That is our first team for the night. We have two more yet to go. But before that, I just want to give props real quick now to Faustino Solis, our MD for tonight. Woo! Show Faustino your love. Yay. And if you also want to show your, your love for Inner City, we have an Etsy shop, um, which Faustino just fixed during Team 1 set. Uh, I kind of faked fixing it. If there's an issue, just please message me directly about okay, it. So we have some items you can get at Etsy.com slash shop slash Inner City Improv. Everyone, yeah, come on screen if you have your stuff, because I've got these nice mugs. we got shirts and all sorts of things. And uh, yes. Is that a trick to buy merchandise? Try and buy it. Buy it. <laughs> like so I will say, I believe things are priced so that pretty much we make zero money on these things. So we're just trying to get the word out there and uh, get people to remember the jam. Um, in all seriousness now, if you do want something from that shop uh, and can't handle, because they are kind of marked up because it's print to order, just please let me know. The more important thing is that people have the thing in their hands as opposed to how ridiculously it is kind of upmarked because we don't want, I don't want like a hundred shirts in my house just hanging around. Although I've already broken that rule. So yeah, if you're interested in a thing, um, go to the shop first, but if you really want something, but you need some help, just please let us know. We'll get to you one way or another. Alrighty. So with that said, uh, let us go on then to our second team, our musical team for tonight. And uh, introduce that team will be Dawn. Hi everybody. I am here to introduce team number two, our first and only possibly, I don't know, I think so, um, a musical team of the evening. So if I say your name, please put on your cameras and turn on your mics. So first of all, we have Danelle from Fremont, California. Andrea from Manila, Philippines. Angel from Sevilla, Spain. Richard from Florida. Don from New York. And finally, Lauren from Detroit. Your timekeeper for today is going to be Brian from Chicago. Have a good set. Thank you. Hey, everybody, we're team two. We just need a suggestion, if you don't mind. A remote control. Remote control, thanks. Oh my gosh, you got the H2205! Yes. It must be on sale just came out <laughs> it just came out oh my god everybody's gonna want to come over and watch your tv oh everybody's gonna well that's good because i'm not really very popular <laughs> you will be now look at oh my gosh the, the vision look at that face my it. gosh let me see if i can get it to work let me turn it on oh oh dear Ooh. Oh, uh, oh, oh, turn the channel. Ch see if you get something. I'm not sure if that's the way it's supposed to work. I don't know. It's a, oh, let me turn the channel. Let me turn, oh, let me turn it sideways. It's turning sideways. Oh, oh my God. Oh, oh. Oh, horror films. It's time oh, of year. Boy. Oh, everybody's going to come over and watch it on my TV. <laughs> Be popular, popular, popular. Everybody's gonna love you. I'll be one of the cool kids with the newest device. It'll be so much fun, it'll be quite nice the to world have is people gonna around be great. the world is gonna be great the world is gonna be great oh look 
honey, I can actually turn it around and it makes another sound. Or not? Oh. I wish we had rabbit ears. You know, like we had back in the day. Those rabbit ears were really special with the aluminum foil. Oh, remember, you proposed to me over aluminum foil, dear. Oh. I really did. <laughs> yeah. Well, this is a new day in time. And I hope that it'll be so sublime. I love you, dear, but I'm having second thoughts about you being so popular. I hope that Betty Jane doesn't come over and try to befriend you again like she did last year. Oh, that would be, I mean, yeah, that would be terrible if she was to do that. I certainly Hang out, Danelle. Hey, sugar. How are you? You've got the remotes. I'm all remotes. I have missed you, honey, for so long. Oh, you know who I am. Yeah, I know you are. <laughs> you that girl. Stop I, it. You're killing me. <laughs> you know what's funny? You I don't know. look you look like the device. You look like the thingy. I <laughs> am the device. She's the other device. You look like her. And she looks like you. <laughs> yeah, we look exactly alike. I, I can't tell us apart. No, you can't. <laughs> Just so charming. See, I'm gonna change the channel. I'm gonna see if I can um I can turn you into an aggressive type. So let's just try that. Ready? <laughs> oh, perfect. Get that thing away from me! I'm sorry. I'll do the docile. I'll do docile. Scary. I, I opened a can of worms. These are monsters. Look, she's turned into a zombie. She's turned she, into a zombie. She turned into it, but it stopped. I, this is not on my remote. This is not programmed in, man. It's not what I ordered on Amazon. Is that a remote or is that a razor? No, it's it's a Shaper. remote and a razor. It's a, it's a remote and a razor, Don. And a toothbrush besides. That's exactly. what's so cool about it. <laughs> it's, it's a out of your right? control. It's out of your control. Uh oh. It's out of control. I can't out stop. Of control. It's out of control. Out of control. Ow. It's out of control. Out of control. It's spooky. Oh. She's out a zombie. Of control. It's out of control. Out of control. Damn it, Jim. It's out, out of control. Out of control. Ooh. Out of when control. you put the remote in your hands, it's a zombie. I can't change it back. Holy mackerel, it worked. It's a... You don't know what it is yet. It's, it's out a, it's a, it's of what control. Good great. It's a out of control. Out. Oh, it's out of control. It's out of control. You know what I'm thinking? I don't know. I'm thinking it's out of control. I don't Sweet. know. I can't. Sweet. I'm feeling spooky. Okay, this is your second day on the job, and I'm telling you, the customers are out of control. You've <laughs> got to get a handle. The customers are so out of control. You know, they, 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 they just, 
throw food at each other. I don't know why. Maybe there is some spell in the food or what? I don't know what it is, but you gotta do something. You gotta, you gotta change the music. Maybe you know. <gasps> Should I change the music? Should I? I think you better think of something because we need some control. Don't you get it? My gosh, oh. they're breaking windows. They are breaking the plates. They are. They are breaking the glass. <laughs> they are breaking the table and all of the other equipment we had. Bang, crash. But that guy, that guy, he just slipped on a banana. Oh no! He just crashed over the whole row of wine glasses. They are spilling oh, no. the beer. They are filling up the place. Oh no! The wine, the wine. Not the wine, please, not, not the, the wine. wine, not the wine, not the wine. Not the wine. Wine bottle crash. This music, it's not working. Not working. There's chaos everywhere. Chaos around. Both stay and freeze. Freeze. Stay and freeze. And this is what happened after they consumed. They actually consumed the remote control parts. They had complete personality changes. The place they were working at exploded with wild, violent customers. <clears throat> and this is the last, that's the last evidence we have of what happened to them. But fast forward to an hour after the cataclysm and go. You know, I feel so much freer. I just, you look so much happier. You do, underneath that facade of sadness and terror, I can feel your soul now. Maybe I should just throw you a pasta. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Maybe I should throw you a bunch of toilet paper. <laughs> Maybe I should throw you the wine. Oh! <laughs> a food fight. Oh! A the, world, the world should be a food fight. The world should be a food fight. The world should just relax. Each other, as long as they don't hurt each other, they can throw anything. Anything. Oh. Anything. Oh. Ooh, there's some delicious lasagna. A biscuit of ice cream. I will eat this. Oh, look at you go. You're so nimble with your eating facade and your talent. Nimble fingers. Eating those peanuts. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Oh. I just got some mashed potatoes in my face. <laughs> oh my god, you need some steak. Sweet, bring back Lauren. So that's that's the uh that's the end of the story, or it sounds like there's a lot more to it. Well, <clears throat> I started drinking and smoking, and it's just it's hard for me to go back over that. It's just been pretty uh, rattling. You know, I know it's traumatic, but I mean, if we want to make it into a movie, it's got to, you know, it's got to have like, I don't know. I mean, it just, it just kind of went on and on kind of thing. Um, so you want to wrap, you want to, uh, we need a fulcrum. We need a fulcrum. Yeah. That's right. We need, we need sort of a, you know. We certainly need a fulcrum. Yeah. yeah exactly. 
that one. Well, what, if, what, if, what if the device uh, not only takes control, but actually creates a better world than it would have been without it? I can live with that. Yeah, no. I, I, oh, oh, what? I can live with that. I mean, you thought I was going to disagree with you. You know how yeah. anti-human I am. I know, I know, I know. I don't like them. Yeah. Well, I'd love to see an example of that scene, huh? When you want you? to. You're that kind of guy. Right itself. This movie is gonna write itself. This movie is gonna be something spectacular. I can feel it right here in my shoulder. Right there, right there. Shoulder. Right can there. you feel that in your shoulder? Where the chip used to be. I know. Written by aliens like us. We can even learn to love humans. A little bit. Let's not push it. In such a profound way, I feel it in, I feel it in my, my, my device, device, right here. Yeah. So I hope that we can find a way to make it better. Have a fulcrum. That is the fulcrum of the film. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Who needs words when we can hum, right? I agree. La la la. Oh, look, the aliens are back. Uh oh. There go. Oh, I missed them. I'll miss them all, but thank God I can call control. <laughs> Control, 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 control you there. Yeah, yeah, sure, we are. I'm on Earth. Yeah. Hey, we're, hey, we're working on a film. Hey, if you're going to be talking to the aliens, you need to have a costume on, don't you think? What if other people know you're contacting them? It's got to be It'll sun. open their eyes. Well, yeah. We don't want them to know we're going to wipe out the human race eventually. I'm wearing a costume. I'm, I, I don't feel comfortable with this. Yeah, it's, it must be secret. Secret at all. Good. They'll never recognize you with those things on. You must be stupid. No, it's okay. No, yeah. it's undercover. Undercover. Totally undercover. You can't have the world. Yeah. Oh, we're talking to aliens. Angel, Angel, you're under an apple and a scarf or a, some it, sort of yeah, device. Yeah, yeah, they'll never recognize me. They'll never recognize you. We're safe. Yeah. You guys are incredible. I don't know how I ever oh. managed to pick up a Russian accent, but it happens being around humans. You know, you never know. Which you way better call me double O O. Just you call me are double O O. -O. No numbers. Double. Yeah, boss. There you go. It's we'll all give. makes sense. We have yeah. to come up with a fulcrum for the film. It's the only way we'll be able to hypnotize the humans and kill them eventually. Okay. Oh. Oh no, part of your head fell off. Oh my so god. Oh no! Oh, oh, oh no! Oh look, a strange, strange creature. This is a horrible film. It's a terrible, horrible, fulcrumy film. Yeah. And it's a terrible, horrible, fulcrumy film. It has no basis in reality, and we have to figure it out. To set ourselves free and take over the planet Earth. Yeah, we must travel on imagination where we can be free and we and all the nations where we go ahead and create a new era. I know, the smoking thing with the humans is nuts. Oh, I can do that. You got it. But wait. I'm having a thought. You know what? 
I don't know. Everyone's gotta have a TV and a remote control. Remote control? I have one. I have one. I found a remote. <laughs> what are we waiting for? For a fulcrum. For a fulcrum. For a fulcrum. You need one of those. I don't yeah. know what the fuck it is, but I like the sound of it. Yeah. Golden fulcrum. Yeah. And we'll control the world with the, our remote control. Hey, I gotta go to the bathroom. I'll be back. All right. Don't take forever like you did last time, okay? Sorry, that was three weeks. Be back. Yeah. Three weeks. Sweep. Sweep. So let me see if I got this right, because it sounds to me like if we're going to have a new world and a new world order, then we probably shouldn't keep some of the bad habits, like for example, smoking. So uh, when we create this machine here, it seems that even though it's done by remote, that it shouldn't smoke. Oh my God, you know, we should multiply me because I can really be a good, good, good additional to mankind. Uh, like a role model kind of thing, huh? Yes, a role remote control role model. You, you know, I, I I like her point, and I and I like your point. I'm not going to smoke these. I'm going to just twiddle them. I'm going to be a twiddler. And that's going to just twiddle it. And it kind of balances on twiddle. your finger. I feel a, twe I feel a tweezler, a tweezler. Yep. And look, look. Oh. Whoa, 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 that's brilliant. Whoa. That's ma magic. Oh. Magic. That's magic. Oh my God, that's magic. magic. Do you like it? Magic. That is indeed a magic. Magic. Right, guys? It's magic. magic. You want to turn like that too? Magic. Like you. Magic. So glad that magic survives. Magic. 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 That's the scene. Thank you, team two. Good. And just like that, we disappear. Thank you, team two. Our group of team for the night. Sorry, I am talking slowly so I can get the next thing here and sort of, you know, uh, make it feel like I'm I'm just sort of talking when I'm really just stalling. While well, I'm you're Shatner. Here. You are in the Star Trek Enterprise, so That's you can true. talk like Shatner. <laughs> I am Shatner. Damn it, Jim. Two. I'm a doctor, not an elevator operator. Sorry, actually, I'm plugging this thing I've been playing around with. It. Uh, anyway, uh, before we get to our, our last team for the night, before our headliners, uh, let's look at what's on the menu with Inner City Improv. Uh, right now, you are in the Inner City Long Form Improv Jam every Sunday night at 6 p.m. Pacific. Uh, we'll be here as long as people keep showing up. Coming up next week is our Inner City Halloween special, which I still insist should have been called the Spooktacular, but I apparently got over overruled. So. Uh, our spooky Halloween special, Spooktacular, uh, where a costume, if you want, is going to be featuring our, our Band of Roosters and U Unicorn Kingdom, our two house teams from Inner City, as well as musical jams. And we're just going to have some fun. Uh, it's Halloween night. Uh, coming up at, at the week after that will be your friends comedy. And then now are the Foxes the week after that from Charlotte, North Carolina. As I mentioned earlier, we have a merch shop with some shirts and mugs and things. We are always looking for submissions of improv teams to headline uh, video sketches, although we haven't really been showing sketches lately. Uh, but we are uh, looking for new musical, anyone who's interested in being a musical director or just jamming with us on, on Sunday night here, please you know, spread the word and get people here. 
Uh, and that is it for what's on the menu. Uh, and again, uh, well, since we did only have two breaks, we are, like I said, looking for volunteers. So if you would like to help us run this jam, we could always use uh, more people to do timing, hosting, things like that. But now for our third team for the night, uh, we'll be introduced by Angel, who will introduce team three. Hello, hello, thank you, Brian. So now it's time to know our second non-musical team of the evening. And so on team three, we will have Mindy Ballantyne from Mendocino. Mendocino, I, I hope I, I said it correctly. Mindy, thank you very much. And we will have also Michael Ostrovskas from San Bruno, California. Yeah, and Greg Little the Whale from Berkeley, California. Yes, welcome. And also Casey Effort from Tucson, Arizona. Welcome, Casey. Yes, yeah. and finally the big, the great Brian Sebi from Wheaton. Yes, and so your timekeeper will be myself. I will inform you when you'll have only two minutes left. Good luck, Team Three. I, I also had a couple people who just popped in the, the jam late, so if you'd like to jump in, now is the time. Uh, but to get started, I guess. Uh, it's almost Halloween. What's something spooky? Haunted mansion. Ooh, a haunted Ooh, mansion. Thank you. Thank you. Huh. Hello. Um, occupant of this perfectly ordinary house. I'm a um, I'm a door-to-door -door salesman for pots. Are, uh, are you interested yes. in a pot? Oh, yeah. Am I ever interested in pots? Absolutely. You look like a, a very normal, average human being. Brown. <laughs> certainly am. With normal pots, I can assure you of that. Uh, oh. Here's one of them here. Oh, oh, that looks... Oh, that, oh, yes, I love it. I love it. Why don't you come on in? Oh, come on in. I'd, lo I'd love to talk to you more about your your pots. Don't, don't, mind if I, don't mind if I do. This is a very, very large house. You don't mind if I close the door and oh, lock it? Uh, I don't mind the first part. The, uh, come on in. Come on in. Honey, we have a guest. Oh, good. I, I've been waiting for somebody to come. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's selling pots. Right. Oh, Quality. especially somebody selling pots. I hope they're normal pots. They, they are, except for their pretty high quality, which is unusual, I guess. Oh, oh I like high quality pots. Oh, I, I need pots to hold things of great value. And uh, I don't want my pots to fall apart. Your pots I, won't fall apart, right? As long as you take it, so you got to meet the pot halfway, but it won't just fall apart on its own. Mm -hmm. they, it'll mainly stay there, but if you like smash it, some of these pots. Can I try the pots? Yeah, please? you just don't, don't like throw it against the, the wall, but if you, oh. if you care for the pot, it will care for its contents. No, no. Um, uh, darling, can you come here and bring the heart of squid? I mean, the the, uh, the jello that we've been uh, working on. Oh yes, darling. Yeah, I've got yeah. it right here. That's. I'll pour it in this normal-looking pot. Yes, thank you. Well, the pot is here. normal. It, I doesn't. Oh, the, it has it, no magical properties. Mm, no, 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 it did not have any magical properties at all. It, and darling, I have to say, your dress is looking divine tonight. And sir, uh, that tie you are wearing, exquisite. I, thanks for noticing. I, I have to actually go to the restroom. I, I've been holding it for so long. You know, I really, I get urinary tract. I, it, it's, it's just too much. I, I I'll be right back. Uh, go get the uh, liver and the blood heart. Uh, yes, uh, Mr. Potman. Uh, 
Am I supposed uh, to get the liver and the blood heart? No, 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 no. You weren't supposed to hear that. No, oh. no, no. That was to my part. Uh, Mr. Potman, I would like to interest you in possibly staying here for a while so that you can continue to make your pots. They're holding my concoction potions. I mean, my, my, my jello. I, They're holding them very well. I need the ingredients for the pots that may not exist here in your house is the, is the main issue. What do you need? Well, there's really like a whole economy of stuff. Like I, I, little, I have people that I get various things from. Um, I need a wheel. I, bing. Ovens. Are, are there's a wheel these, and there's an oven. You're just making these things appear. Is that, I, and people I, are appearing. I need... Lots you need workers? Gold. No problem. Bing! Mounds of gold. Bing! Uh, what I need from you, Mr. Potterman, is more of these pots. They're fantastic. None of my concoctions escape, are melting them. Escape door? I need an escape oh, door. Oh, there's a lot of stuff in his room. Sweet. So Johnson sent me his resignation letter. Can't believe Already? it. I figured he'd be a pot man his whole life, but he just told me he'd found a better thing. And no. Staying with that. Door to door pots is the pinnacle of career dump. <sighs> you know, something seems suspicious about this. He's oh, yeah? like the fourth person we've we've lost who's been trying to get in and sail him there. I mean There's something familiar about that name. I know. I mean, I, I, I'm sure it's nothing, but yeah. we've never been able to get into that market. And every salesman we've been there just, just sends us this resigns. But well, you don't think something. I've happened. seen two courses of action. We either try to make up those numbers or we go to Salem ourselves. Well, think I think it's about it. one thing we can do. We've got to go to Salem ourselves. We need to get out in the field again. We haven't been out in the field in years. You're right. I've just been here in this office analyzing numbers, but not making those numbers happen. No. I've been sitting here with market research and, oh. and spreadsheets, and I'm so I'm, tired. I'm already bored. I'm already bored. You want to sell a pot to a person. Right. Just sell a beautiful pot to a person oh, at yeah, a reasonable I mean, I've got, price. I know how we, all, we love our beautiful pots. Something they'll remember exactly. and cherish. Okay, cut, cut to Salem, and you guys are in a coffee shop. Okay, you two. Now, this is this is the latest coffee, and they and this is some exquisite pots that we get from the factory nearby. So, uh, just enjoy the coffee. And if you have any questions about Salem, I love to talk to people. You have a local pot factory? Oh yes, we do. These. These look like, our, they look similar to our designs, but yet somehow they've been elevated. Oh, we have a local artesian. He just came in from, well, you know, somewhere in Illinois. And he just, he came in and now he's he's like, he he was like a door-to-door -door potsman. And then now he's like the talk of the town. He's a king, king pot guy. They're made by one person. One person yeah. is making all these local incredible pots. He's all in Phil. His name is Phil. Phil. Phil Potsman, our missing yes. Potsman. <laughs> our missing door-to-door -door Pot Smith. It was a really convenient hire when we hired him because his name was Potsman. Yeah, but... Okay, well, if you guys need anything else, just let me know. Phil? Just heard. Were you, guys talking, were you guys talking about pots? I just am drawn to them. Yeah, pots no, are you... life. We eat, drink, sleep, and breathe pots. But you know us, Phil. We... You worked for us. You sent me a resignation letter. I know. Me, it, Mr. Mr. Potts. I didn't think it would arrive yet. I it was a plan internet, I had to. The internet does it really fast now. I mean, I got your email. I'm like, I wanted to strike it on my own. Excuse me, boys. Mr. Potts wants for me now. Right, yes. Mr. Potts? That's you may have right. known him in his past. My own, He's now my own I didn't, I wasn't 
magically imprisoned by her, though. Nobody implied that. Yeah, no, well, that would be silly. Who would do the magically? Like that? <laughs> no, he's not magically employed by me in any in any way. But Mr. Oh. Potts, don't you think it's time to leave? I I guess do, so. but this coffee is delicious. Mm-hmm. You know, it's really confusing that you both have the last name Potts. Well, I never told you our backstory. Oh, I'd love to hear it. <laughs> He's my son. That's pretty much our backstory. That actually explains the Potts Potts thing. Yeah, yeah, I know. Uh, thank you, Potts. He, he went by Pottsman just to try to make it seem like it was a little bit less of nepotism, but it's totally nepotism. Cut, cut to, cut to um, the house with, with Potts and the mean lady. So... Tell me about your father. Oh. Obsessed is, is maybe not a strong enough word, but um, certainly interested in pots, and he passed that on to me. Um, but you went off on your own because it's time for you to shine. Well, that's that's what I thought. I, I thought he's pretty good, but I could be. I, I you know I wanted to be my own Potter. Even better than your father, Potter. Ding! Even better. Even better than your father, Potter. I'm even better than your mother, brother. I'll, I'll be your new mother, Sada. I got the whale. Well, darling, I just wanted to say that I normally love that you're bringing other people in the home and I normally don't mind, but there's a lot of crap in this house. There's people in this house. There's piles of gold now that I really didn't anticipate. Um, this pot guy, I really think he needs to find another home. Uh, you know, I'm here to help the souls that need guidance. And this potter guy, he's got really great pots he makes. Our coffee cups have never looked better. And you know, yes. Yes. Look at look at yours. Look at your intercity. I what love it. It's incredible. It's an amazing pot. He's done, he does amazing work, but I'm just telling you right now, it's just not worth it. To, these people are here all times of the day and night. He has all kinds of analysts and people making, for him to make pots, it's so crazy. Should I let him go? Well, I think we should encourage him to get out on his own, maybe move into his own home. And then you and I can have but we can have our Friday nights back together and, you know, a little Netflix and chill, honey. I miss that time together. Okay. All right, I'll bring in Mr. Potts. Mr. Potts! I do love this pot. <laughs> Mr. Potts, uh, yes, I'm going to let uh, you two talk. Ma ma Madam Witch, I mean, uh, I don't know if that was public information. But, uh, yes. I want to tell you how much I've enjoyed your many months here at our, our house, building all these pots for us. Uh, me You've too, done amazing in a Stockholm work. sort of way, I really. <laughs> go on. I've got to let you go. Yeah. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'll unlock all the doors. I'll unlock everything. You can go. You're free to go. You're free to go. Oh. Be free. Huh. Huzzah! Swear. Oh, oh. 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 Hey, I just, you caught me in the backyard and uh, I just wanted to say before you left that uh, I was very jealous of you and I made her, made, made her make you leave. But I wish you well in your pot men life. Well, well I, I um, you know, at, at first, I, at first I felt like uh, trapped because you guys had like trapped me there. But then when you like made a fleet of pot making people and, and stuff in it. Uh, yes, I my love, wife is very giving, yes. Yeah, I, um, I feel, I, it's like, is it, is it Stockholm Syndrome to, to like So it? you're telling me that you love her? I, there I heard that. You're, you're, you're here. But I will have to do you for her honor yeah. then, sir. I... At the festival tonight, I will duel, duel with you for her honor. I need to go practice my swordsmanship. Goodness me. Me too. I'm not 
good at that. Uh, we, we, you, he must run off. He must run off into the city. Don't duel her. She she's famous for using her witchcraft to like you know in her in her own way to make people lose. We, so we, run off we, to the city. Go see your friends. Go see your friends. Oh, oh. Go see your friends back at the coffee shop. Okay. <laughs> Fre friends? Do I have friends here? We're um, former coworkers. Oh, and and your dad. And he's uh, your father, the I, other Mr. Potts. I vaguely remember you out from outside of the, the, it's all coming back to me now. Oh, yes, I was, I, I had this tremendous rivalry with you. I wanted you to be proud of me. <sighs> so, I'm just, I, I'm just going to go ahead and uh, refresh your coffee for you, for you gentlemen. There you go. Thank you. Thank you. And there you go. Uh, uh, as the company slogan says, there's, Room for pots, not for family. And pots, it's a lowercase pots. So I'd like to think that's clear. <laughs> that's... I've eschewed my family. I don't remember them at all. Family, childhood, former passions, it's all pots now. But how can you don't not remember them? I mean, unless some sort of magical spell was <laughs> affecting you. Oh, no that's insinuated silly. magic. Come on. <laughs> Cut to magic and Michael. Magic. You have no family. Ding ling 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 But I completely remember the 1991 Pots Christmas catalog. Him again! I can craft ceramic pot lining at home. Yes. Yes. Go forth. Go find the pots family and pots. pretend of the brethren. Pots. 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 Are, 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 you, are you okay? You, you just kind of space out for a minute there. Oh. <laughs> Oh, oh, we were talking about pots because, of course, yes, of course, we're with the, the pots. Of course, pots. Of course, you were. Lowercase p. Yes. Pots. Pots. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna take another sip of this coffee. Oh, hey, here, I'm just back. It's been a, it's been like an hour. You guys haven't asked for any more coffee, but I'm gonna go ahead and just refresh your coffee since you're still sitting here. You. I hope you're all gonna come to the festival this afternoon because it's gonna be a fun time. What what festival would that festival, be? Yeah, tell, tell, oh, it's the <laughs> It's the annual Pots Festival. Of course. <laughs> we are in Pottsville, Salem, you know. <laughs> that's the pottiest neighborhood of Salem. Yes, that's what that is what that's the slogan on the city when we come in. Yeah, very good. Of course. Good. Of course. We'll be I there. Know. Of okay. course. Cut to the festival. There oh, are sure a lot of pots. There are a lot. <laughs> Ooh. Man, like the one. quality, the quality is some of these, some of these are uh, made from very difficult to work materials. Oh, yes. I mean, the guy over there looks really angry. It seems like he thought this was something else. But uh, I Free can't imagine. cider. If you apple. bring your own pot. Oh, I have Free like, apple cider. Oh, I've, I've got a pot right here. Oh, yeah, you, uh... then line up, hey. Ryan Sebi. Right. This is a, this, a, this is a. Enjoy, ha ha ha. Ha ha, ha ha. This is. Uh, Michael Astralsicus, how, there you are. How did you know my true name? <laughs> been Mr. Potts for years. I know, I changed my name to Peter Potts to create a Potts factory, but you, you know my real identity. Oh, you, and you, Mr. Potts. Here you are. Oh, thank you. I um... Drink up and enjoy the festivities tonight. Thank you. This is Just making all of my memories come back. This is some awfully good cider, ma'am. Have we met before? Never. Okay. I feel like I... 
I'm a lot better at making pots than I remember being. Pots. Oh. Time is running close. Time is running close. Pots. It's a minute. My memories. You're my sister. <laughs> Bingo! Brian. You went off to witchery school. Yes. I went off to pottery school. <gasps> yes! What? Yes, and my lover. Here she is. Well, she's your wife. Of course she's your lover, but... Yes. Yes. She, but... She's been with me the whole time. She went off to uh, manipulation school and black cat school. Look, she's got a yes, black cat yes. I was given my own black cat for manipulation school. It was fantastic. You wouldn't have used any of those tactics on anyone around here. Oh, everybody is here by their own free will. That's, yeah. that's... Why would you have changed our memories, sister? We could have been a family all these oh, years. Oh, it's Halloween. It's a bit of fun. It's a bit of fun. It's yeah. all a bit of fun. It is. Yeah. It's like half half fun, I would say. I'd say it's half fun. Like it's fun for you, but right it seems like it might not be fun for the victims oh. of the. Well, we're all family here. Yes, we are. Well, you came in, but yes. Team. Team. Ooh, give it up for team three. Oh, I guess that's me. Sorry, team three. Yay. <laughs> that's right. I'm like, I'm hosting tonight. I remember this. Surely I do. Uh, okay, what's going on? Uh, do, 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 going through the thing here. Oh, before we get to our uh, headliners tonight, uh, now is the time for if anyone in the audience has something they want to promote, please come on screen. I will uh, just or, uh, Lauren. Hey. So uh, Blue Humor Jam, I'm taking over Blue Humor, Blue Humor Jam for my birthday celebration on Monday night. Mm -hmm. It is from 10.30 p.m. to midnight or a little after um, Eastern Standard, which makes it three hours earlier Pacific. Please come on down. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Thank you very much. I am not my age. I refuse it. Anyone else? I'm just trying to find that fancy background thing that I have. I can't find it. Uh, then I'll have to do. Yes. Hold on. Uh -huh. Hi. Um, yeah, wrong. Okay, hi. Uh, this is, um, uh, I'm going to be doing a few things, very important things. Uh, one is the Vintage Improv Festival. I don't know. At this point, we're sneaking in the back door. Shh, don't tell anybody. But because of that, we have a bunch of other stuff that we can do. So we're doing that. Uh, that is uh, on 8 o'clock Eastern Standard. Uh, look it up under Vintage Improv Festival, uh, et cetera, et cetera. Also, if you are in New York and you want to do some uh, jam prom live, trying to get that up and going, have a couple of gig gigs, uh, and I actually will pay you tens of dollars or tens of pennies. Wow. I pay my actors. Okay, Tinky, baby, you. this my time. So, you know, I, I, I know Lauren said that her birthday is coming up. I know it's one of our other volunteers. I believe Michael is your birthday coming up. Uh, should we sing happy birthday to everybody? Or to, should everyone, uh, should we sing happy birthday yes. to our birthday people? Yes. Yeah, happy birthday. All right, everyone come on screen. Yeah. We'll happy birthday, because this won't be terrible over yeah. Zoom at all. I love it. Oh, oh, see, are having it's so right. Right. Happy happy song. Speed it up. All right. Uh, on a one, two, three. Happy, happy birthday. birthday. Happy, happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, Michael! Happy birthday to you! Happy to you! That was fourteen simultaneous versions of that song, which is impressive. Yes. <laughs> it's, it's, it's all, twelve of us here. Yeah. That's impressive. Yes. Uh, I was gonna say, I guess for for promotions only. I was gonna say, but uh, 
if you're one to see live comedy, I'll be playing at Westside Improv every Friday in November and the rest of and no and next Friday too. But anyway, um, we have volunteers. If you're a volunteer tonight, please come on camera real quick so everyone can also cheer them. So thank you, everyone. Helps make this jam work. We got Michael. We've got Angel. I know Alex was there. I'm not sure if he's still there. Don had to drop off. Faustino, of course. Who I think also may have had to drop off, or is in the green room. No, it's on the breakout room with headliners. Yeah. Gotcha. Uh, we should probably get them back here. Um, I'm going to jump in. They need a. They have a mild technical issue, so we're going to play a little oh, line game. Oh, we're playing line game now. Because okay. our headliners are a musical yes. team, and they're having trouble with that aspect. So, um, how about 185? If you don't mind, Brian, I'll run it. So the setup for this line game is 185 blank. We'll get a suggestion and cycle through a few. 185 blank, walk into a bar. Uh, bar then the bartender says something to the effect of, you know, we're closed. Like, 185 pencils walk into a bar. Bartender says, we're closed. The pencils say, um, okay, we'll get the lead out. Or something much funnier than that. So let's get a, <laughs> let's get a suggestion of something at but outside a home. Shrubbery. Shrubbery. So if you've got a joke for sh shrubbery, go ahead and turn on your camera. I'll call on you and you can go ahead and share it with us. So 185 shrubberies walk into a bar. Anyone? <laughs> All right. 185 Laura. shrubberies walk into a bar. Bartender says, what do you think this is? A Monty Python film? <laughs> oh, see. Uh, 185 shrubberies walk into the bar and the bartender says, we don't serve your kind. He goes, wait, you can't cut us out. <laughs> Brian Sebi. I say, 185 shrubberies walk into the bar. The bartender says, I'm sorry, we're closed. And the shrubberies go, oh, knee, 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 knee. <laughs> Mindy. 185 California shrubberies walk into a bar and they say, please give us something to drink. And the bartender says, okay. Dumps it on top of them, which is happening right now. Old rain, <laughs> yes. Yeah, it's pouring outside. John <laughs> Sullivan. Hundred somethings walk into a bar, go up to the bartender. Uh, he says, I'd like to have a Long Island iced tea. He says, well, you know what they say. It's better to have one in the hand than two in the bush. I'll do one more before we get a suggestion because I feel like this is sitting on the table and nobody wants to do it. 185 shrubberies uh, walk into the bar. Bartender says we're closed. The shrubberies say fine. We'll leave. Oh, very uh, good. Uh, yay. <laughs> yes. Okay, let's get something else. How about, <coughs> excuse me, a profession? Dentist. <laughs> of course. The dentist. Oh, 185 <laughs> dentists walk into a bar. If you got something, uh, Greg. Unmute. You're muted. What a, 185 dentists walk into a bar and the bartender is <laughs> somehow it's the case that 184 of these dentists agree on something. <laughs> One of them doesn't. Yeah. <laughs> oh, wow. All right. Mindy. 184 dentists walk into a bar and they go Oh my God, we're in so much trouble. You don't happen to have a root canal that we can disappear out of, do you? Jesse. 185 dentists walk into a bar and the bartender says, we, don't, we can't serve you, we're closing. And they went, oh man, we know the drill. Ooh. I'm clapping because I was thinking that one. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Uh, 185 dentists walk into the bar the bartender says oh wow i've never been around this much royalty they said why do you think we're royalty the bartender says all those crowns <laughs> <laughs> nice. uh, 185 dentists walk into a bar and the bartender says i don't know about this and they say just keep filling oh. <laughs> Brian, oh, was it the same one? <laughs> Lauren took my joke about being filling. I'm sorry. 185 uh, dentists walk into the bar. The bartender says, oh, sorry, it's closed. And says, why? He says, because it's tooth hurty. Oh, <laughs> hey. Right. Hey. 185. Oh, you got one more? Go for it. 
185 dentists walk into a bar. Bartender says, what the hell do you want? And they say, just a couple of instruments so we can get loaded. Ooh. <laughs> Brent Tibby, I'm going to, unless it's a killer. Is it a killer? I, I, you know, go ahead. Go ahead. 185 dentists walk into the bar and they were surprised because like, the, the bartender was was actually a, a humanoid cat. And they're like, wait, who are you? And he's like, McCavity, McCavity, my name is McCavity. <laughs> All right, let's get a suggestion of something uh, uh, like magical or fantastic or from fantasy. But one word. Like a fairy? Sure, uh, 185 fairies. Okay. Walk into a bar. Brian Sebe. 185 uh, f fairies, you know, come into the bar and they start talking to themselves and they just won't talk. And the, the bartender was like, hey, excuse me, we're, cl we're we've closed. Uh, and they just kept talking. And finally, bartender was like, hey, listen. <laughs> Mindy. 185 fairies come into the bar and the bartender is just like. <laughs> <laughs> One hundred eighty-five fairies walk into a bar. The bartender says we're closed. The fairies say that's fine. We're just winging it. Oh, one hundred eighty-five yeah. fairies walk into a bar and they say, uh, "Give us some water." And the bartender say, "No, it's closed." And they say, "We just want a glass of water." And he says, "It's closed." And they say, "Now you are a glass of water." <laughs> Did you have one, Lauren? Yeah. 185 bars, bars, 185 fairies walk into a bar, will kind of fly into a bar, appear into a bar, sprinkle into a bar. They're there. And the bartender's going, God, what the hell are you doing? They're going, well, we're just trying to get a buzz. He goes, I see that. Nice. Yeah, I see. 185 fairies walk into a bar. Uh, the bartender says, oh, we're closed. We can't help you. And they go, well, what am I going to do with all these lost boys? Ah, 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 you're in. Ah, ah. 185 <laughs> fairies go into a bar the bartender says uh what can i get you and they said it doesn't matter we're just here to get dusted Ooh, <laughs> Very nice. all right apparently they're making progress on the musical technical issue but they still need a little more time so let's get one more thing uh, how about something non-physical like a concept let's see where that goes a concept Intel Intelligence. Oh, okay. Oh, wow. Okay. What? What? Intelligence. Huh? <laughs> okay. Intelligence. <laughs> and feel free to play with it, like you know, ideas or something like that as well. Mindy. One hundred and eighty-five intelligent people walk into a bar, and every single one of them asks for a specific drink made with three different ingredients that each one needs to have grown from a different country that is freshly involved and mushed and created with different things. Thank you. <laughs> Anybody else? Lauren. 185 very, very gifted, intelligent Mensas walk into the bar in deep conversation. The bartender just looks at them and says, oh, hell pops off several bottles of whiskey and goes home. <laughs> Greg. You're on mute. 185 intelligences flute into a bar and the bartender says, wait, this bar has a maximum occupancy of 127 intelligences. All right, Cassie. Uh, 100, 185 <laughs> intelligent brains walk into the bar and the bartender says, I, sorry, we're closed. And they're like, wait a minute. That's just a little bit of gray matter. Why won't you let us in? Uh -huh. <laughs> oh, I was just working on a mat. It doesn't matter one myself. Brian Seppi. <laughs> 185 intelligence, intelligence walk into a, to a bar and the bartender's like, oh, we're just closing up. And the intelligence said, you know what? How about this? If, if we can you know, win a bet against you, keep up, keep open for a little bit. And the bartender's like, all right, neuron. Oh, ah, mm, neuron. Mindy. 
185 intelligent people walk into a bar and the bar says it's closing time we're closing and the, the intelligent people say it's five o'clock somewhere oh yeah yeah so it's not closing one or two more so karen uh, 185 intelligences walk into the bar. The bartender says, I'm not sure I can just serve intelligence. They say, what are you talking about? We're just men, sir. Uh -huh. <laughs> so 185 intelligent people walk into a bar and they are discussing the sense of life, the sense of the universe. And the bartender says, would you like to drink something? And they say, wait a little bit. We are here in on a deep conversation. And they keep discussing. And the bartender says, please, but would you like to drink something or not? And they say, wait a little bit. This is more important. And the bartender goes away. And, and they ask, why are you going away? And he said, because I'm stupid. <sighs> Oh, geez, like, that's oh. weird. That is, I love that. <laughs> All right. Anybody else happen to have one? I'm just stalling a teensy bit more because I think they've nearly got the audio thing. I'll, oh, wait. I think they're coming. Oh, I can probably think of one. Cassie, uh, let's okay. take home. Okay. Uh, 185, uh, Stephen Hawking's walk into the bar and the bartender says, I can't serve you. No, no, we're closed. And he goes, I just came from the third dimension. Damn it. I need a drink. Okay. Yes. Well, Oh, Faustino, do you have a wordplay for us? Um, I'm a, I'm just gonna copy what C Cassie did. Um, <laughs> Stephen walk, Hawking's walked into the bar. Um, actually came up to me, and I was really surprised. I haven't seen Stephen in like ten years, and he really coyly just gives me a dandelion's like, "Will you go to the dance with me?" And oh. I thought, "Oh, I, I would love to go to the dance with you, but why would you ask me? Uh, I should be the one asking you since you're all great because it's the." Stephen Hawking's dance. Exactly. <laughs> oh, wow. All right. Oh, thank, nice. you. thank you. Thank everybody. you, everybody. <laughs> Brian, back to you. Uh, oh, there we go. So I'm going to assume that Faustino, since he's in the room, means we are ready to go. So at this point, I'm going to turn over. Please welcome your headlining team for first names. Woo! Woo! <laughs> Hello, everyone. How are you? Thanks for having us. Uh, he's Richard Paul. This is Chris Berry. And we have four first names. So um, we're excited because we're going to be doing some more musical improv. Um, what we'd like to know from you um, is a word, just a word, um, a word that can kind of lead us down to a, 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 tr a track. Um, so if you can think about a moment in your life um, um, that was kind of a, a meaningful moment. Uh, it could have been like a, a celebration or it could have been a moment where you had a grand epiphany and one other person was involved. Um, what is that word? Put your word in the chat now. Um, and uh, so that way we can kind of look for that inspiration. But it's got, remember, it's gotta be something where someone else was involved with you. Um, while that's happening, looking for words in the chat, let me explain what's happening. Uh, I think this is the first time in the world that we're having the MD in one location and two people in another location. Um, I'm playing delayed. So if you hear the piano like chop up timing wise, it's because I can't hear the piano right now. Um, so this is a, Megan, give it up for four first names for trying something completely new, new and stupid. Woo! We're making this work. All right. Uh, first word I saw was consistency. Consistency. Uh, all right. Um, thank you so much, Cassie. Um, we're going to take consistency as that word that inspires us. And what you're going to be seeing um, are the the moments after um, this moment between these characters. Um, and the word is consistency. Let's begin with an overture by our music director, Faustina. It's almost ready, pa. It smells delicious. Silas, will we ever get that land? Mother, we will get that land. If it's the last thing I do in this life, is I'm gonna get that land and set you up for greatness. He walks in every afternoon. 
with dirt upon his face. Dirty face. I wanna clean the smudges off of him. He sits at the table. I sit down with aching muscles. I'm really sore. Who's going to take care of him? I hope so. That's my job. That is my job. You're the best. My job's to care. That's my duty as a wife in these wetlands. That's what I'll do. kept some of the lumps that's that's the way i always like it you love your gruel lumpy i do love that gruel lumpy i appreciate it and i love my little lumpy priscilla you have made me the happiest man on the earth i have to tell you that because i'm going to go out there and i may not come back i just want you to be warned forewarned that it's going to be dangerous but i'm going to secure this land for us oh okay <laughs> It's 18, it's 1868, and you're talking to me as if I don't know that. You're talking to me as if I don't know what kind of risks you're taking. Well, I know you know. I just want to reiterate, I just want to make sure you know that I do this for you. Everything I do is for you. All right? I wonder sometimes. So there's nothing for you to worry about. I wonder if that's true. One day you might end up finding gruel lumpier than mine. No one makes lumpier gruel than you. I don't know. There's a lot of unknowns. Don't, 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 don't do that. What, what, what? Don't, 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 don't do that to yourself. Don't do that to yourself. You must know you are the best. Don't do don't that, do that, don't do that to yourself. I love your gruel and none of the rest because you've made it for me many years. And it's what goes between my ears all over my face. I love you. Don't, do, don't, do, don't, do, don't, do, don't do that. No, no, no. Don't do that. Don't. Don't do that to yourself, no, no. Don't do that, Trishella. You're the best wife that I have ever had. There's only been one brother. You are the one who makes me want to be a dad. You make that gruel, and it tastes so bloody good. You are the one that lights my firewood. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that to yourself, no, no. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that to yourself, no, no. Oh, it smells so good. Don't do that. Don't remember all the bad things I said. Just because I'm going to a dangerous place and I might be dead tomorrow. Don't do that to yourself. Don't do that to us. You're the best and we're the best and we're gonna make it through all don't of this mess. Don't, don't, don't do that to yourself. Don't, 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 don't do that to yourself. Don't do that, don't do that to yourself. So, what? I'm seasoning the gruel. Okay, thank you. I, <laughs> I love the way you season that gruel with your crying tears. <laughs> they just add your love. It's the hidden ingredient. 
Why won't you take me with you, Paul? Why won't you take me with you? I, I can be an adventurer. I can be an adventurer. You're an adventurer here at the ranch. Just being here, you're an adventurer. But if I take you out there, it puts you in danger, and I would never do that. What if I want the danger? What? You look at me and you think all I'm good for are wooden bowls and uh, pistols. You know, uh, you know, the things where you, you mortar yes, and a pistol. Yes, where you crush things. Yes. Yes. You think I'm only good at crushing things. No, I know you're much better at many, had, many things. At, at carving things and, and sewing things. Why do you want to put yourself at risk? Because I want to be a leader. to be going into a place I want to see danger happening in my face use my fist and use my brawn I'll go and travel into the dusty dawn the dusty dawn the dusty dawn that is where I'm feeling strong. Dusty, dusty, dusty. That's where I will move on and be your partner. Dusty, dusty, dusty. Be that partner to you, the dusty dawn. Dusty dawn. I want to be the one who catches you, shotgun. Or to be a sniper Let me Be the one who you call partner On the dusty dawn The dusty dawn Dusty dawn Dusty dawn Dusty dawn Dusty 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 Dusty, 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 dusty Well, I mean, if you don't mind me wearing dresses, I'll be all fine. Whatever you want. I don't mind I'm you wearing dresses. I like when you wear dresses, Priscilla. This is this is exciting. I, I never even I never even pictured you out there with me. That I bet you never knew this. You have your own rifle? Yep. My musket was all the way up. My, my tuffet. You carved that yourself, didn't you? I did. I made it out of arrow wood and uh, what, what do you call that? Oak. Oak. I can see the engraving you put on that. Yeah. Right here it says, my man will always be first. Oh, yes. let me go read. You. Of course, you're coming with me. What? Yes, you're coming with me. Oh, I thought it would be harder than that. No, you convinced me, and you have your own musket. And I've been wanting a partner this entire time. I know you've taken on so much burden. And I, sometimes I worry about you, and I don't I just, know if any other partner you have could ever take care of you the way that I. No, of course, no other partner listen, I have listen, could listen, take listen, care of me the way the, you the, the way that I. <laughs> If you know what I mean. I know what you mean to say. You're my wife, but now you're looking for another side of life. You're coming with me to the great unknown. And it could be a very dangerous zone. Take my hand, you'll make me a better man. Take my hand, you make me a better man. We have to load the we have to load the wagons up. 
go ahead and get the blanket. Let's go get the pillows. Yes, we gotta be quiet. Go ahead and get all the provisions, all the things that we need. We've got to make sure we get to our destiny. Let's go. Let's get all those things prepared. Get them prepared. Prepared. Take my hand. Make me a better, better man. Prepare. Prepare. Make me a better man. And you will make me a better because I'm already good as a woman. You're great. Make us prepare. Make us prepare. All right. Are you ready to come out there? I mean, I. Well, we have everything we need. Everything except for supper. The gruel. Take a bite. I can't have us going out there on an empty stomach. I don't even need the wooden spoon or the wooden fork for this one. We could both do it together. <laughs> we don't have to do it together. I couldn't wait. I'm on a diet anyways. That is amazing. That's the best gruel you've ever made. We, oui, because if we're gonna go on the trip, you're gonna to have to learn how to make some gruels too. All kinds of things could happen. We might get yellow fever, you know? I know. that It's that kind of world nowadays. Well, it is, Dude, things are changing left and right. Yeah, and then not everyone does what everyone should do. You know, you, you get guidance, general guidance. I... And then, you know, people kind of, you know, have their own ideas. Um, something about freedom and manifest destiny. No, absolutely. And I, I think we are going to be trendsetters. We're going to go out there and we're going to do things together. 50-50 partnership equal. If the trail gets dusty, I want you to wear this cloth right over the top of your head. Okay. Try it like that. in the dusty trails hit the dusty trails hit the dusty trails hit those dusty trails I'm gonna go out to those dusty trails I'm gonna rob I'm gonna steal I'm gonna do whatever I have to do to make you happy with me when we hit those dusty trails, you know we'll be liable. Go ahead every night, we'll go and read the Bible. Dusty, dusty trails. Dusty, dusty trails. Dusty, dusty trails. Dusty, dusty trails. It sounds like I just revealed that I robbed things to you for the first time. There's no secret to me that you have a propensity for crime. Well, that's why I say I may not come back every time I go out the door. But when you come back, suddenly I want more. Dusty, 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 dusty trails. Dusty, 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 dusty trails. Dusty trails. Let's go. All right. And you know what? We're going to rob banks starting today. Behave. Behave. Listen, I just want to get you all the best stuff in the world, and I can't afford it on my measly farmer's salary. So I have everything I need. It's right here. And I have everything I have ever needed with your gruel and you 
I am good to go. You can do better than that. Let's get back on the horses and let's go. All right. Let's go. <clears throat> Did I forget something? You're carrying me out. Oh, my bad. I forgot to mention I'm with child. Oh, okay. Come on. <laughs> I seen <laughs> that was Chris Berry. He's Richard Paul. We are four first names. Thank you, Valcino. Everyone, please give another round of applause to four first names. Uh, how was how was the sound? What was the sound? The feedback? What was that like? What was that? Was, it works. You hear it? Yeah, it, it it all worked. We can hear. Oh. It. So, oh. Well, well, you could hear. Did no, it, no, but we could hear it, and it was in sync. It was, it, it worked. It, I thought it worked pretty well. So, <laughs> <laughs> Fastino, you did it, Fastino. We made history. Just, um, it's all about math and spaces. Space yep. and time, and Faustino can see through time. For sure. he is the Quizots Hotterock. Sorry, I thought doing this weekend. You want, so. you want you want to talk you want to talk about latency and like filling in and expectation? No, we're we're good. Uh, give up four first names again. Before you guys go, tell us everybody. Thank you, Fasino. Thank you. Before you guys leave, do you have anything you'd like to promote or anything uh, time coming up where people can see you online or in person? Uh, sure. Uh, if, if anyone is in a time travel machine, you could have saw us last night in the Countdown Improv Festival in Ybor City in Tampa. But uh, we are going to be uh, on November 13th, Saturday, November 13th, in Greenville, South Carolina, in the uh, New, New South, South Comedy, Comedy Festival, Festival, 9 o'clock p.m. Nice. Excellent. Great to see. And I, I finally got to, over the summer, meet Chris for the first time in person. So that was great. I'm looking forward to seeing you guys all in uh, person. Wait, hold on. No, that was not the first time you've met. We in all person. met in Boston. Oh, oh, it's great. Right. Scandalous. Right. Scandalous. Oh, right. I forgot you were you were Nemix too. Then. I'm sorry. Okay. Good call Their back. first show was my personal story. I'm That's right. sorry, Faustino. My, my That's right. we have to Yes, indeed. So thanks I for have watching. Bad memory too. I'm sorry. <laughs> All so right, thank I'm you. I'm gonna go slink off here now, but uh thank you guys again. It was great. Um We've already done our line game, sadly, for the night. So I think that kind of brings us to our conclusion. Unless Faustino, you want to do anything else fun before um, we? Learn? I'll do. I'll do something quick. Um, if you're ever in the West Coast or specifically Las Vegas, please hit me up personally. Uh, love to show you the city, but also um, we have stuff going on improv wise. Uh, Bleach Improv and also a jam every Sunday. No, every every Thursday we have something with Bleach Improv. Every something every Sunday with something with comedy sports. There's a lot of stuff opening up, um, and I think hopefully if things go well, we're actually might be dropping our ma man our mask mandate by the end of the year because of numbers going down. So there's just a thing for that. Um, also, continue to support things that are going on with Inner City as well as everything else online. Um, if you do end up buying something from the Etsy shop, I'd kind of work around. If you have any issues, please message me personally. And also, again, if you want something from the shop, it's more important for me particularly to just have, give you a thing as opposed to like worrying about the actual cost. Like we're, none of us are making money off of it. I actually have not claimed any taxes on these things because we don't make enough money to warrant taxes. Um, so again, if you want something, just let us know and um, give it up for Brian for hosting for doing this all. Yeah. Actually, Faustino, if I could do one brief thing before we leave or shut down for the night. Oh yeah, there's a thing we gotta do. Well, be well before that, real quick, actually, I could. Okay. Sorry. Uh, so earlier this week, uh, a really good friend of mine passed away. Uh, who, Chris, his, uh, Chris Ayers. He was an anime voice actor and director. If anyone, some people might have known him. He, but he also did improv. He was one of the people who really encouraged me to like take improv classes. And I and was excited when I told him I was. So I just want to say, you know quick moment of silence for chris uh yeah, he's a great guy and uh I, the world is is not as you know it's, it's emptier now without him so here's to, to chris and uh here thanks for is. all you did for me and, and for everyone else in, in the community so anyway cheers sorry on that note uh i guess we will no, close we're, out we're, we'll do we'll do the moment of silence we'll do the moment of silence okay thank you And on a happier note, um, if you are in the Philippines right now, it is Monday morning, which also means it's October 25th, which means it is Michael Strauss's birthday. Did y'all do it for me or no? Woo! Woo!
Don't ask. You do have a birthday today. Happy you do birthday, do have a birthday. Michael. Michael. Oh. But Happy birthday. no, do you, do, you, do you know why Michael's birthday on October twenty fifth is is basically Christmas? Is it the thing where like the pagans like did no. not? Yeah. Right, people, because Oct twenty five is deck thirty one. Oh, actually, that was the other way around. Sorry. It's New Year's. Actually, five is October 31. Sorry. I got the joke backwards. Well, happy birthday to you. I don't know if y'all did during announcements, but happy birthday to you from the bottom. Thank you for it's saying it was beautiful. Oh, wow. You, well, on that note, you've it's already saying, but get me out of here. Sorry. Uh, so, before we close out the room, everyone just come on screen real quick so we can wave and do our final uh, photo of everyone. Why is this? Uh, okay. Someone taking a screenshot, hopefully. Command Shift F F four. What there is it? Yep. Command Shift. Well, I just actually hit the wrong thing. Command Shift four on the Mac. Oh, that's why I haven't gotten it. Wait, Command Shift five then. That's the one. Wait, anyway, uh, we have been the Inner City Improv Long Form Improv no! <laughs> Week eighty two. Thank you, everyone. There's a long form improv jam, Brian. Long form improv. Did I say the wrong thing? Bye, everybody. Bye.